Hi guys, we're coming again to another today's news. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are listening from. A lot of things have been happening recently in Nigeria, and this has called for so many attention than what the federal government of Nigeria is actually giving to it. Now, shops, offices have been deserted in Anabra community as Nigerian army personnel clash with gunmen. Everywhere is down. Everywhere is deserted as a result of the clash between the Nigerian army personnel and the gunmen. As a result of that, major roads, shops and other public offices have been deserted amid the fear of you know, possible attacks. Well, we'll be going into the full details of the news and I'd like you to sit tight as we go. If you're coming across this channel for the very first time, don't just watch and leave the subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new updates. And also a big shout out to our existing subscribers. I want to say a big thank you to you for liking, sharing, commenting and also checking back at this channel to view the news. I want to implore you to continue to do so. Continue to like, share, comment and as you do, remain blessed. Now, you might be wondering how the Nigerian army personnel are now clashing with the unknown gunmen that the shops, offices have been deserted and people are I know are in fear because of any possible attacks. Now to the full gist. Residents of Upo community in Inewi South local government area of Anambra State has been in panic after gunmen and Nigerian army personnel engaged in a shootout. Major roads, shops and other public offices have been also deserted and made fear of attacks. It was learned that there was heavy shooting around St. John's Catholic, you know, St. John's Church, pardon, Hupo, Amadim Village and a few other parts of the community. As a result of the ongoing security operation, the inhabitants of the besieged area we advised to remain indoors and avoid the roads. Upo has been a theater of murder and other grisly crimes in the states in recent times. Barely three days ago, unknown gunmen killed a former state lawmaker, Honorable Nelson Emeka Anchuku. The former lawmaker was reportedly kidnapped in his home in Okpo despite being physically challenged. He decapitated, you know, his decapitated body was later found at the bank of Olasi River and was quickly buried by the family on Tuesday, June 21st, 2022 evening as the body was already decomposing what is your thought to this imagine series of things that are happening in anambra state and just imagine what is actually happening presently shops offices have been deserted in the community as the nigerian army personnel are now in huge you know war with the gunmen they are now clashing and People are advised to stay indoor. I mean, the residents of the community are advised to stay indoor to avoid any possible, you know, possible attacks. Stay indoor for you not know, to fall victims because, in fact, nobody can come outside because all the residents are in fear of possible attacks. What is your thought to this? And when you take a look, you know, a very good look at the Anambra State, you see that. The governor have been doing everything possible. The governor is actually trying his best to make sure that the state and every community in the state is secured. But it's so unfortunate that his best is not yet enough. He still has a lot of things to do, just like what we've had in the news. Barely, you know, three days ago, unknown gunmen killed a former state lawmaker, Honorable Nelson Emeka. The former lawmaker was reportedly kidnapped, imagine, in his own home. 
in Oppo despite being physically challenged. And after he was kidnapped and killed, his decapitated body was later found at the bank of Olasi River. And, you know, quickly he was carried by his family and buried on Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Like to share it all with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Chinedu Okoro reacted to this and said, you know, he reacted and said, you know, it's not bad if the Nigerian army speaks to them in the language they understand as far as peaceful citizens living there are not affected. Saying that it is better these people are spoken to in the language they understand rather than, you know, clashing with them. But don't forget that these people have said it times that number that the government of Nigeria knows what they want and until the government of Nigeria do what they want them to do, they are not going to stop all these attacks. So definitely dialogue cannot do it until the government of Nigeria meets their demand. So it is only the federal government who knows what these people want. We don't know, you don't know, I don't know. It is only the government who knows, are they themselves. So we just hope that this doesn't lead to what we don't expect. Chinedu Okoro also reacted and said, A Catholic priest was killed yesterday in Kaduna State by terrorists, but Nigerian army will never go after them, but they will be given presidential pardon. What is your thought to this? That's another reaction from Chinedu Okoro saying that, the federal government of Nigeria are one of those people who are increasing the banditry activities and every other form of criminality in Nigeria. He said, you know, a Catholic priest was killed yesterday in Cardinal State by the terrorists. But you won't see the Nigerian army going after them, probably because they will be given presidential pardon even if they are being arrested. So nobody wants to waste, you know, their strength or energy. So I think... Facing them one-on-one -on -one in gun battle and eliminating them would be another form of getting rid of all those things. Why Adifemi Araromi also reacted and said, Their home is in jeopardy. Tinubu from the West is their problem. The way Azikiwe did to Awolowo in the areas of colonies, you know, when he's supposed to fight for his people's interest, he was fighting with Awolowo in the West. That bad spirit is still in them and they can't change. A lot of people have reacted. A lot of people have reacted differently. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to let us know your take to this. Don't forget that it is time for us to get this deal done. This wickedness against humanity needs to stop. Get your PVC and do the needful come 2023. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. Don't forget that shops. Offices are deserted in Anambra community as the Nigerian army personnel clashes with gunmen. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.